Hey everyone, welcome back to Sekiro. Uh, we have a boss to fight. I think you know where we left off uh, before the monkey. And I'm going to try not to leap into a cliff. This might be a problem, this boss fight. Uh, first of all, it's been quite a while since I've played Sekiro. So... Uh, I don't even know how this is going to go. I immediately got shit on. But that's okay. That's okay, that's okay, that's okay, because I should have... Antidote. And I should be crushed. Listen. I remember the strategy for this guy. And I think the way to go here... Is to be aggressive as hell. Against him. Like, I need to be... Oh, fuck. Cool. I think I wasn't ag aggressive enough when I last fought him. To be fair, I was... Not like having an off day, but... It was before my holidays. You know, I was in like a vacation mood. So, you know, I wasn't thinking about... Did I just do Ichimonji double by accident? Yeah, I did. Okay, we need to get the fuck out of here. I don't like it that I can't see what he's doing. Because we need to heal. Motherfucker. That's what I hate about this guy. Is that he's got like a weapon for every situation. But he doesn't have a weapon against fucking firecrackers. You know what I can't remember, and I'm... I feel like I'm really stupid for forgetting this. Where you get the spear weapon from. There's a spear weapon in this game. Which is really good against this enemy, especially in the second phase. And I don't fucking remember where you get it. Okay, we need to go. He's nearly posture broken. Which is usually when you get to phase two. Because, you know. Big surprise, this boss is a phase two. I should turn down my TV a little bit. Cool. I'm kind of annoyed that I don't have the. Can you poison him? That I don't have the spear. It does a shit ton of damage against him. Yeah. I mean, obviously. Oh, that's what he... Oh, shit. Yeah, I remember. He does this. He does, um... He does terror. This is the first enemy that really kind of outputs the terror. Uh, it's probably the most annoying stat. Like status ailment in this game. It kind of works like Frenzy in Bloodborne. And that it's basically an insta-kill. So, you gotta be real careful. Normally the way to fight it is just to run away. It's just my re action times have not been the best. Fuck. See, because normally it's not that difficult to avoid. Okay, look, I don't think you can poison him. Think about phase two for this boss is that he loses a lot of his like grabs and shit.
He only really has the frenzy to go on. I'm gonna save the heal. Oh no, he has a jump. Yeah, a jumpable attack. Shit, I can't believe that hit me. Cool. Can recover posture here. That doesn't work against him in this in this phase, I think. Hmm. This could go either way. Okay, the boy is concentrating now. There goes my last heal. This is really, you know, okay, so I'm sorry if I'm quiet here a little bit. Get the fuck out. Yeah, I kind of thought he was gonna... He goes for that a lot. Fuck, this is so close. If I die now... He's dead. He's dead! Yes! Pull that shit out. Execute that with the Moron Blade. Cool. He's dead. Cool boss. Cool boss. Not easy. He is not easy. Slender finger of a young woman. Uh, what does this do? Oh, the finger whistle. I don't remember what that does. Man, that was a stressful eight minutes. Cool. Let's rest and recuperate. I said that weird. Breath of life. I can get it. This is the one we are going for. Saving up for, really. Uh, apparently, this is super useful. And we are also going to enhance our attack power, of course. Okay, we're back in the Ishina Reservoir area. Uh, there is a very good reason here for this. I first of all I forgot that there's area and I yeah. Okay, so we're back in the Ashina Reservoir area. Uh and I actually forgot there's enemies here. No worries though. It's all good. There is a reason we're here. Uh this is where the lotus spear is. And listen. I'm an idiot. And I forgot that this thing was here. So don't even mind me. We're just gonna quickly, you know, pick it up and move on. That would have helped a lot in the previous boss battle. But the boy kind of forgot. What you can see, which is really nice, is that just like with Bloodborne, there is sort of like a progressing day mechanic in this game. So, you know. The further on in the game you are, the sort of later it is, which is kind of fun. And this is the one. Gyobu's Broken Horn. God, I wish I had this earlier. That would have... Because what you can do is, you can use the spear in like a very specific way and it'll deal like massive damage to the monkey. Because uh, it allows you to pull the little worm out of him that makes him immortal or centipede or whatever. All right, but let's get back to the temple here a little bit. I feel like I need some cash. In fact, I'm gonna sell a couple of coin purses. 
and see what this guy sells. If anything useful. Hmm. It seemed to be something that I wanted from it. Oh, he sells a gourd seed. No, no, I already purchased it. That would be impossible to get. Doesn't he sell divine confetti? Fuck. I thought he did. Damn it. I thought this was the motherfucker that sold divine confetti. Well, whatever. Sculptor here. Oh, he has unique dialogue for this. Because if you give him the monkey booze, well, I might, I might as well just do it. Cool. Let's get all three of these. Loaded Spear, Divine Abduction, Finger Whistle. And we really need to upgrade the Divine Abduction. Hold on. It does the... I think this is the one you want, right? I think so. And we might as well get the thrust spear. Cool. And we can get the gouging top as well later. Uh, should I have, do, I, do I have the materials for it? The gouging top is very useful. Let's give him the monkey booze. Get some unique dialogue here. This guy likes his booze. It's nice to bond with the sculptor. You can give this shit to Emma as well. She'll have a different reaction. So that's where the finger whistle comes from. Sounds like a fun area, especially for someone like me who's scared of heights. I could go for a bowl of monkey booze right now. See, there, there is the magic dialogue. Cool. Uh, what I think I'm gonna do is we'll switch out Sabimaru to the loaded spear. And let me just quickly go and get some more money. And then we can get the gouging top. Cool, we got the gouging top, which is I think the most advanced of the uh, the shuriken ties really useful. So cool. We got that. Let's move on So we can take this back to Emma and Kuro. Let me just check uh, I don't think I have I do have gourd seeds cool So we can give her the monkey booze, but didn't we give it to Ish Ishinashina as well? I don't even remember. All right, Kuro. What up? That's where it was. Giant monkey in the way too. <laughs> Weird the message is appearing. It's called weed.
But with the more amble, oh no. No diary entry, blah blah blah. The slip not slung too. Luckily, you can just we don't need to go to her, we can just like shout, you know. It's like, hey, come over here. But of course not, we gotta fetch quest her. Cinematic cameras. There's a lot of dialogue here because this is important. Luckily, she knows everything. She's quite the exposition machine. Like, how does she know all this? I do remember this being the, yeah, the mortal blade. Yeah. I remember this. Could have just solved it myself. That's what I'm saying. You could have just, like, you know, got together and these are going to be some horn dog ass comments. <laughs> Knew it. I just knew it, man. These Sekiro players cannot control themselves. I swear. Uncontrollable. And this is, yeah, I, I remember this, where this is, I think. Is that where that thing is? Yeah, it is. Sounds like, sounds like we have our next adventure, but we have some things to take care of. Uh, oh, did I just skip dialogue? Whoops. Whoops. Okay, so I'm going to come here uh, because... And get absolutely annihilated. Fucking hell. Listen, boys, can we just chill a little bit? Thank you. How about we try that again? So, to do this combat section properly this time, without embarrassing ourselves, this is what you do. That's more like it. Whew. Cool. Don't want to make a fool of ourselves. This isn't actually the place, is it? You need to get to that bridge. I remember correctly. I 
I think this is the one. But does this lead to Sampo Tempo? I don't even remember. Sorry, doggos. Damn. Fucking hell. Okay. You know what? I'm gonna try something different here. Run like a bitch. I think this leads to Sampo Temple. Which means I'm an idiot. So yeah, that does lead to Sempo, but since we're here, you know, we might as well combine the useful with the necessary and finish this guy's quest line. I don't... Cool. I know. I, ha I have the ability to do this now. Because I've never done this, I screwed up the first time. Um... There he goes! I'm sure he's not dead, is he? Uh, if you are dead... My bad. Didn't mean to kill you. He's not dead, actually. He's not dead because all you need to do is visit the... I think the Hall of Illusions, this place is called. And he should be there and he should give us the money that we require. The cash. There he is. Who the hell is he talking to? Oh, he's talking to like imaginary children or whatever, they're ghosts or whatever. Yep, I knew it. He doesn't even mention it. Kawaii, he said kawaii. I like it. I think this is an important... You need this for a quest line. Suspiciously... Suspiciously red persimmon at the peak of its ripeness. Commonly called the taro persimmon. Cool. See, we made him happy. And that's really all that counts, isn't it? That's why we that's why we do things in this game, aside from murdering people. You get a nice little warm fuzzy feeling. Right, and that's about probably the last fucking time I'll use uh divine abduction. It's not very good otherwise, but hey, cool. Let's see if she has any new dialogue because of this. Cool. Well, that's it. Hey, I actually managed to complete a questline in Sekiro. That's almost amazing. They are not easy, you know. However, I think with that, I believe the time has come to wrap up this episode here. This was a fun one. We got a major boss, made some progress in the story, got some new shinobi items. And we just got to figure out how to do this quest line and how to progress. So with that, I'm going to go ahead and wrap it up. I want to thank you guys very much for watching. Hope you enjoyed this episode of Sekiro. If you did, as always, make sure to give it a like, comment, and 
I really can't talk. Comment and subscribe. Take care and see you next time. Goodbye.